It's now been more than four months since this explosion and fire at the Inca Majestic plant paint plant that is on Leonard Avenue. Community members in that area are still looking for answers about what happened and what will happen from here on out. Tonight, the company's CEO is meeting with the public and Eric Halpern has been at that meeting. He joins us now with the very latest Eric. Colleen, this is a meeting that community members have been waiting months for. The CEO read them a prepared statement and then community members asked questions that they still had. That meeting went on for about an hour and a half and just finished up. Here's some video from the meeting. We should point out Yankee and Majestic CEO Andrew Smith is not in the video. A liaison for the company said he would not come with news cameras in the room due to company policy. He came in after news cameras left and I was able to stay in the meeting. Neighbors have had questions about the insurance process for damage to their homes, emergency notification processes to neighbors when something goes wrong at the plant, and what's being done to make sure something like this does not happen again. Neighbors also have environmental concerns. One of the company's employees died in the accident and others were injured. Tonight, in his prepared statement, the CEO apologized for the fear that was caused by the fire and the blast that night. He also says it happened in the paint resin plant on the property and that because a safe cleanup and excavation process is slow, the equipment at the center of the accident has not been reached yet. He says that should happen within a month and then more answers should come about what caused this. According to the CEO, testing after the fire showed no emissions went into the community. Again, this meeting just finished up. We're going to be talking with neighbors. You'll hear more from them and from the company tonight on NBC4 at 11. Live and local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.